Field-based learning to me is sending students out into the real world. So it's one thing to learn in a classroom with textbooks or PowerPoint presentations, but when you have the chance to go out into the real world with real people, to me that's what field-based learning is. And you can call it different things, uh, experiential learning and, and other names, but that's what the field means to me is the real world. So see actual experiences that students have in actual work settings, what we call clinical settings because this is a health profession um, that we're involved with, um, physical therapy. And um, experiential learning can be further divided into different categories that are quite unique, such as volunteerism, where um, the student may be doing something that is entirely um, based on what is what the the clients or the setting needs for work to be done, activity to be done. Um, community service learning is sort of the next category where it's a combination of the students learning needs as prioritized along with the needs of the clinical setting. And then uh, the third category of experiential learning is peer experiential learning where the students learning needs are primary and the experiences set up so that the student um, has the experiences day-to-day -day, um, scheduled that they need to develop their skills. We use it integrated with what we call the academic theory component of our program so that the students have um, more traditional theory-based kinds of coursework which are lectures, labs, tutorials, seminars, um, problem-based learning with other professionals, other students in other professions. Um, and then interspersed with that, the students will be assigned to a clinical setting. Um, we use diverse clinical settings that are indicative of the way we practice in physical therapy so that students experience a nice cross-section of experiential learning or field work learning. Um, and we try as much as possible to plan or set the expectations for the learning in, in any one setting um, to maximize the application of theory that may have occurred, the learning of theory that may have occurred just before the experiential learning. Um, actually, the first three weeks that the students come into the School of Physical Therapy, we send them out on four uh, clinical visits to different settings with a different buddy, and then we debrief after that to see what they've learned, and we ask them, what did you smell, what did you taste, what did you hear, what did you see, what did you feel? And it's very, very powerful learning, so we call that clinical practice one. And then throughout the two years of the program, students go out in four-week, five-week, and six-week full-time clinical practice internships to work with patients in a variety of settings. And the other way we use field-based learning is we do a unique workshop in the middle of the program where we take the students to the heart of the inner city and we talk about poverty and health. And they go walking through the neighborhoods with people who live in poverty. And that's a very powerful learning experience for the students and they talk a lot about that experience. It makes it real. Well, the outcome from our program is a physical therapist at the entry to practice level. That is, they're ready to practice. They're ready to have a caseload of patients and apply competently skills, attitudes, behaviors, um, knowledge in order to um, affect a therapeutic outcome with patients. That means that they need to know what that actual clinical setting is like and what it means to work with real patients. Um, patients don't come out of a textbook. Uh, they're individuals always and um, when students learn in labs and seminars they're learning on arguably pretty healthy people um, who um, don't display the signs, the symptoms, the presentation that patients, residents will display and they need to be able to see that and they need to know how to modify their techniques um, based on all of those things and that's something you can only get when you're actually in the clinical setting. I think one needs to think about what diversity each student should have uh, when they graduate from the program. What, not only how much edu clinical education or fieldwork experience, but what type and what mix. And that was really important for us to um, decide as well. And then how does it best fit with the academic or theory-based component of the program? 
If you want to incorporate field-based learning, you need to build some relationships and some partnerships with the places and the people where you want your students to learn. So regardless of what you are trying to teach, you need to ask where could my students experience this learning in real life and then who do I need to work with to make that happen. So unless you are a teacher who happens to be in the community yourself with some other part of your life and can take them there, you need to find those partnerships and those relationships and foster them and build them so that your students are welcome there and also that your students are giving in that setting and not only taking. So we need to, to set these experiences up very thoughtfully so that the students are contributing and helping the field, wherever the field is, and then the learning that comes is the give and the take that, that we can share we can share and hopefully it's win-win for the field and for our students who get to learn in the real world.